I didn't understand back then, as I'm sure a lot of people don't when you're in school, is how it will affect me in the real world. But what I can say is every job that I've had, maths has been a huge element. I feel like maths is the core of everything that I do. Even when I was doing engineering to finance to business, it all kind of centred back around maths. When I was trying to get my mortgage, um, having a good understanding of maths was definitely really helpful because there was a lot of percentages and rate choices that I needed to make. Just because you're studying maths doesn't mean that it has to lead to a job in finance. It could lean into a job anywhere in the world. Taking maths and learning to problem solve and how to tackle more complicated questions is, is an invaluable skill, I'd say. And if I hadn't done maths as an A-level, I wouldn't have been able to do a science degree. You wouldn't expect maths to be a big aspect of medicine. All of these jobs in the hospital are sort of backed up by maths. So I use maths to do all my data analysis. Our dietitians use maths to work out exactly how much food a patient needs to keep them healthy. They look at all their blood results. Our pharmacists use maths to work out exactly how much of a drug to give a patient safely and effectively. Studying mathematics isn't just about learning how to add things up, how to divide them, how to calculate things, but it instills some good qualities like logical thinking and critical analysis that are quite pertinent to any job, any subject, anything you do in life. When I was in secondary school, I really struggled at maths. I was at the bottom of my set. I was in the bottom class and at the bottom of that class. I really believe that if someone applies themselves at any subject, they can kind of learn to like, they can, they can learn to do it quite well. At the beginning, when you start a new sport, you're never really good at it. It's almost embarrassing for some people to um, allow other people to see them that bad at something, you know, especially when you've uh, grown up a little bit but that's the thing there isn't any thing special about anyone except hard work and repetition even if you forget um how to do some maths equation that you used to really be perfect at um as soon as you have a little practice it does tend to come back as someone with dyslexia um, I really struggled with literacy I wasn't very good um, I tried my hardest in English and very wordy subjects but it just wasn't part of who I was and so I really thrived in maths and I felt like it was it felt a bit more homely dyslexia helps me with my maths um, because it's just numbers I don't know how to explain it I'm dyslexic dyspraxic and ADHD I've had to overcome some of those barriers. Understanding myself has benefited me massively, where I can say, okay, maths, maybe not my strongest point, but these are the things I can bring to the table. And these are the things that I can do really well. I'm neurodivergent. And um, one thing I needed in A-level was exam adjustments. And once I was able to get them, um, suddenly things were a lot um, less sort of stressful or anxiety inducing for me. And I was able to just focus on on learning and, and, and doing the subjects. When I was at school, I really struggled with maths. I was really very anxious and nervous about it. It was something that I overcome much later when I went back to studying. Um, I overcame that with the help and support of the lecturers and they explained the practical application of what I needed to learn rather than just this is maths, this is how we need to find the answer, it was this is why you need to know this. I did not enjoy maths in school particularly. There was, yeah, it was a kind of weekly stress trying to get homework in and Having my dad as a maths teacher as well, there were some clashes and it was always just quite stressful and scary. And with my degree, there are quite a few times I can recall where I've had to sort of call up my dad and ask him to explain like a graph or a statistic to me. And I'm actually quite lucky to have that opportunity to do that. What really helped me personally when I was struggling with more difficult maths as I got older 
was that maths is always difficult when you don't know how to do it. Um, as soon as you know how to do it and you practice it, it's easy, no matter how complicated it looked when you first saw it. Once you can do it, you can do it. I know a lot of students sit in their GCSE maths classes and in GCSE 3 as well, and they think, why do I need to know this? And they ask that question a lot. <laughs> um, we all know that. They can't in core maths. Core maths felt very different to, to GCSE maths, just in the fact that uh, you kind of learned a lot more about what you actually do in the real world. So you learn a lot about uh, tax and national insurance is, is a big one. When I did core maths, I actually felt like I was learning stuff I was going to use and I knew I was going to use. It was a lot more engaging. Having confidence around finance can often come from a confidence of numbers and taking subjects like level three core maths can really help with your future and understanding around personal finance. I was good at maths. I think I got a six in the end. So I could have done A-level maths. Um, but it wasn't something I particularly enjoyed doing full time. So I did computer science A-level and I did an extended diploma in music technology. And along with that, I also did uh, core maths. I'm currently studying A-levels in biology, chemistry and history. And last year I took core maths. A lot of it crossed over and helped, could help with both biology and chemistry. In our sociology A-level, we did use aspects of maths. Um, particularly in sort of the research side of sociology, so understanding uh, and interpreting data. I'm currently studying biology, chemistry and psychology at A level. I'm also doing an EPQ. Um, I did core maths last year. In psychology, it was a large topic dedicated to just statistics. So core maths definitely helped me a lot because the, the questions are a lot more open and you get asked in a more conversational format. So uh, you kind of have to respond in the same way. It's very, very good for, um, for that problem solving skills. I think core maths will help me get my chosen course, which is pharmacology. The university that I've chosen actually um, considers core maths and actually offers me a lower um, entry requirement. I definitely recommend doing core maths. If you feel like you've done maths and you haven't really um, been able to apply it properly, but you'd still, you still want to carry it on a little bit, then I definitely recommend it. Key piece of advice in my life, which I chose to ignore at the time, was do core maths. You really need to do core maths. It's really good for people like you who aren't confident and need and are looking to progress into like social science or just any subject that you wouldn't expect to have a huge amount of maths in. It will have it and it does. And I think had I listened to that, um, my A levels and my degree so far probably would have gone a little smoother and I would just have that sort of foundation to approach things on my own. I chose my A-levels because uh, they were my favourite topics at GCSEs. I really liked equations, I really liked quadratics. My favourite bit of maths that I loved was algebra. Algebra is a huge part of the maths that I still currently do. My favourite part of maths at school was different proofs and understanding why the maths works. Where I come from, maths is viewed as this sort of um, a very difficult subject that not many people enjoy. However, when I went into it, the experience was actually different. Um, I actually started to enjoy it more and more. So while studying maths at school, my favourite uh, part of the maths was the uh, integration and differentiation, uh, especially working with the formulas. By studying mathematics, um, I developed my critical thinking in a way that I didn't really expect. Some of the A-level maths that I use is integration. It was sort of just the stimulation I got from um, learning the different uh, equations and applying the different equations, understanding what, where I went wrong sometimes as well. Um, and I think that's why I chose that as an A-level. A-level I studied maths, physics and music and then further maths to AS 
Um, and I chose these because at the time I wasn't sure whether I was going to become a civil engineer or an opera singer. So I took physics, maths, further maths and computing for A-level. So after my GCSEs, I chose to study um, maths, further maths and physics at A-level. I did maths, further maths, economics and geography at A-level. I always loved maths since I was young from primary school, so I knew I wanted to do both. I studied four A-levels, uh, maths and further maths with a big two there, but I also studied physics and computing, so obviously very sciencey and STEM subjects. Initially, I chose Spanish history and art, and then two weeks in, I changed my mind and took maths, chemistry, physics and further maths. I'd say my subjects did feel different to GCSE. Um, obviously, there's a step up in the difficulty there, but I found them quite a bit more interesting because they delve a bit deeper into the sort of content and the knowledge, and that just satisfies my own curiosity. There were definitely points where I had doubts uh, at the start of A-level. Um, there was quite a steep curve from GCSE to A-level, so that was something that I did have to get used to. Um, and at the beginning, yeah, I encountered some some struggles and uh, some serious anxiety, but um, I was able to sort of persevere and um, just take each day as it came. There are points at which I felt like the maths was quite difficult and quite overwhelming, um, especially with a lot of the further maths content, but a lot of it with time and with practice and with help from your fellow students and from help with your, your teachers and tutors you can practice those skills and you can develop them to a point that you're comfortable with the content. So I found that the A-levels I took gave me advantage because at the beginning of the course, there were some lectures which would just catch up and I was already quite comfortable with their content. So one of my favorite modules in maths um, at A-level was actually part of further maths and it was decision maths um, because I really enjoyed how it related to the real world um, and kind of helped you with regards to critical thinking and um, management. Doing further maths externally definitely had its challenges, but I enjoyed it a lot because it meant that I picked up the mathematical skills myself and also the soft skills such as time management and discipline to get the work done. Hi, so my name is Maya and I'm an Apprentice Business Analyst with Aviva. Uh, my name is Benji Goldstein, um, I'm currently the second year at University of Leeds and I'm studying Medical Sciences. Hi, my name is Amber, I'm a Digital Degree Apprentice at EY, specialising in Data Analytics. Uh, hello, my name is Tyler March, I am currently a Boeing Aircraft Maintenance Technician Apprentice. Hi, I'm Brenda, I'm 19 years old, I just did my A-levels this summer and I'm currently a Chartered Accountancy Apprentice. Hi, I'm Mohammed, and I'm studying medicine at the University of Leeds. Hello, um, my name is Rachel Hayden. Um, I'm 25 and I'm a civil engineer working for Bechtel, currently on the City Fibre project. Hi, I'm Bobby Costin. I'm a customs and brokerage specialist for a freight forwarding company. Hi, I'm Tess. Um, I'm 20 and I'm in my second year at Bristol University. Um, I'm studying a joint honours, social policy and politics. Hi everybody, I'm Hashin. So I'm 21 years old and at the moment I'm the degree apprentice at Royal London, which is a pensions company. Hey, I'm Carly and I'm a clinical scientist at the Evelina Children's Hospital working in paediatric gastroenterology. Um, my name's Chloe Bell, I'm 20. I'm on the aerospace engineering degree apprenticeship at Rolls-Royce. I'm Louis and I'm a master's student in science communication. Well, hi everyone, my name is Brandon Mutepfa. Um, so I'm a degree apprentice at Airbus. My official title within the degree apprentice is called uh, Supply Chain Quality Management. So my name is Emmanuel Oyotunde. Um, I am a third year degree apprentice and I currently work for Airbus. Hi, my name's Georgia. I work at Vitrex PLC and my job title is Corporate Social Responsibility Lead. Hi, I'm Ahmed Hanoun. I'm uh, currently working as a project manager with the Portsmouth City Council. Hello, I'm Hannah. I'm 19 years old and I'm an interior design student. Uh, my name's Jasmine. I'm an automation control and instrumentation engineer based in the Northwest. My name is Ifoma Noreline Okoli. My title is Project Safety and Environmental Manager 
at Talos UK. My name's Owen and I'm currently studying games design at Futureworks in Manchester. Hi, my name's Abigail Foster. I'm 28 and I am the founder and CEO of Elent. Before that, I was an accountant uh, in the glossy magazine industry. So I used to work for Vogue and then I worked for Harper's Bazaar for the last three years of my career. 